Okay, let's check out the Spectral Resonator, which is a new effect in Ableton Live 11. You can find it under Audio Effects, Reverb and Resonance. And here we have the Spectral Resonator. Here I have just a drum loop, and I prepared a bunch of stuff because this effect is so versatile. I want to show you a few examples. Uh, here I have just a drum loop. And by the way, this is from the Ableton's Live 11 new sound li user library. Uh, you got a lot of new sounds, so that's a loop from there. Here I have just OTT, just some compression. Doesn't do much. Right, and just a limiter again, doesn't do anything right now. And everything else is turned off. So let's load the spectral resonator. Let's listen what it does by default. Okay, so spectral resonator is a spectral effect, meaning it takes the sound and splits it up into partials, or in this case, harmonics. Uh, and we're gonna see all the processing in this spectrogram. So first of all, we have the dry-wet, um, and if I take it all the way uh, dry, meaning no effect, we're gonna see it here in the spectrogram, the orange, if I bring it up, we're gonna start seeing the blue uh, representing the processed sound. Nice. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna skip this routing mode. We're gonna keep it internal right now. We're gonna talk about everything, and then we're gonna come back and check out the MIDI routing. You can do some cool stuff, chord progressions, bass lines. Really cool. So uh, right here is you have the main frequency knob that we can tune uh, all the uh, resonating uh, partials. Nice. Here we can decide also to adjust it by uh, notes instead of frequencies. Here we have decay, how long are those partials gonna sustain for, or decay? It's gonna take them. Here we have high frequency damping. As I turn it up, the high frequencies are gonna decay faster. And same thing for low frequencies. Now all the low frequencies are decaying much faster. Here we can stretch expand the, the, the space between the frequencies, between the partials, and compress the distance between the partials. Here we have the shift, which is some, somewhat similar to a four-man shifter. It's going to change the input spectrum by semitones up and down. Nice. Uh, here we have three modulation modes. Uh, each one will start adding some sort of change, a uh, constant change uh, into all the partials. Course is gonna apply a triangle shape modulation uh, to the frequencies, to some frequencies of the partials, making it thicker. Wonder is gonna apply a random square wave modulation, just a randomization, more randomized. And granular is going to uh, randomly trigger exponential envelopes on different partials. You can change the rate of modulation and the amount of pitch modulation. Nice, here we are. can fold the spectrogram if you want. We can decrease the amount of harmonics, which will essentially uh, become more CPU friendly, uh, more, more efficient processing but uh, much uh, lower frequency, uh, lower uh, precision, kind of lower quality sound. Let's check it out. Nice, here we have the input send. That's the volume that is, we're sending into the device, like the dry signal into the effect. And here we have unison, essentially duplicating the voices. And we can decide how much different to have between them in pitch. And in this case, it's more things than pitch because it's in the spectral domain. So you can do so much with this device before we even talk about the routing. Let's make like a reverb kind of thing, like a reverb-like effect. Let's put, let's keep it on granular, take the frequency down. Here we go. Let's bring the initial amount up. All right, and now we have like a reverb almost. Fold this. Nice. So let's check out some of the stuff you can do with it. First of all, we can, you can see we can even turn it into a reverb. You can use it kind of as a metallic sound or turning things into more metallic type of tone. Um, and I'm going to group this. I already have one right here. I have right here uh, in a rack 
just the drums and let's turn this off. These are just the drums dry. Then we have another chain and we I did exactly what we just set up, kind of a reverb right here on this chain. Let's put them together. And we don't need this anymore, let's delete that. Nice, so that's the reverb. Now, let's move on to the next one. Here, I have a, a let me turn off everything here, we'll get explained what's the effects we added. Here, I'm, I'm making a chord progression with the spectral resonator. So we have this section that will allow us to change the mode from eternal, which will just set the frequency or the note from this frequency knob, or we can take MIDI from different track. Here I have a MIDI track with a clip. Let's see it, it's just a chord progression. I'm gonna launch it. Let's go back here. Nice, and we can say MIDI is from that track, and that track is called Chords MIDI, and I'm telling Spectral Resonator, listen to that. Here we can change it for mono, so it will only play one note at a time, to poly, and then it will play as many notes as you set up here, up to 16. Let's keep it at eight. Nice, a whole progression, right? Just from that, I did made, uh, added some unison and chorus for some more thickness, but super cool stuff. Now, to even, because we're using a loop here, and I wanted only the kick and snare to trigger or to go to the spectral resonator, I added a gate here that will essentially gate out all the hi-hats. Added some extra calls and phaser, right, and with, our, with our drums. Nice, and the MIDI again is coming from this separate MIDI track with the chord progression. I have another MIDI track for bass. So another MIDI clip, just in this case, it's just individual notes. Let's go back here. Here, my fourth chain. I have the same gate to just give us the kick and snare. Here's the spectral resonator, and now it's set up to mono. Okay, mono, so only one out at a time. I added also some drum bass for some extra uh, fills. And you can see the harmonics, I turned them down. Let's solo the bass, let's into that. Nice, and that's just from the drums and this effect. So if we bring the harmonics up, right, we can start hearing most of the beat, let's bring it back down. Nice, uh, damping the high frequencies, long decay. Okay, nice. Now, let me turn this off, I just want to show you something first. Uh, if I... Uh, Take a, if I arm this track of the MIDI, let's stop this clip so I can play it with my MIDI keyboard. Let's put Spectral Resonator and take the MIDI from the Chords MIDI. Nice. And I'm going to put the MIDI gate on, okay? I'm going to play it. And we're not going to hear uh, the drums because I'm not playing any MIDI. And as soon as I'm going to start playing some MIDI on my keyboard, right? That's when it's going to actually play or gate the spectral resonator. So you do have a gate here in the mono when you poly, it's always on. In the mono, you can also glide. Listen to that. Right, so it's gliding to each other. And we also have pitch bend if you're using the pitch bend in the MIDI editing or on your keyboard. Excellent, same with everything. And all of this is just from the drum loop. Now, one last thing I want to show you is I also have a vocal, right here, vocal recording. I'm going to turn off the effects. This is me, and it's really bad, but whatever. This is me, just I'm going to play very shortly. No effects. She got me, I got her on a blip mo. I'm just mumbling. Why are you going to get me on a flat though? Okay, nice. Now, I put some gate just to remove some noise. Here's the spectral resonator, some reverb and some compression and some EQ. But the main thing right here we want, it's right here, the spectral resonator, right? Let's fold everything else. So, whoops. Now, the spectral resonator is getting MIDI from this MIDI track right here called vocal MIDI. And here, we have a melody running. Let's, let's play that. And now we have to have them both soloed if you want to hear them both. But now we have this melody playing 
are uh, spectral resonators. So it's kind of a function, it's kind of a vocoder. She got me, I got her on a black phone. Why you gonna get me on a flat phone? She got me, I got her on a flat phone. Why you gonna get her like a big phone? Nice. Spectral resonator. Super cool new effect. Very versatile. Ableton Live 11. Check it out. Why you gon' get it like a bitch?